All right. So yesterday I did a sort of rundown video of a set that I did last weekend. Well, it wasn't really a set. It was just a performance of one track. Um, but I forgot to mention in that video that, uh, or I forgot to mention how to do really long loops on the octa track, which was something I intended to do. Um, so I've got a camera set up here, and I'm going to just quickly run through how to get super long loops going on the octa track. I'm not 100% sure what the exact limit is. I think I might be at the limit here on this one, so let's just have a look. Uh, so as I mentioned yesterday, on track one, where are we? This one's 32 bars long, this one's 16 bars long, this one's 16 bars long, this one's 16 bars, and this one's 64 bars long. So they're very long loops. Um, and the way I've done that, because, you know, the Octatrack's only got 64 steps, you can't, you can't just do a 64 bar loop right off the bat. So what you need to do is you need to turn on um, <clears throat> this little feature here. Not that one, this one. Uh, scale mode per track. Um, and that allows each different track to have a different timing scale. Um, which is really handy, not just for this, it's also super handy to do uh, like really weird like polyrhythmic kind of stuff. Uh, as I'm, you might be aware. Um, but anyway, so I've got that turned on, and so that just means that each track has its own timing. Um, some of them are different, as you can see. Um, so let's go to this, the longest one. Um, so what I've got is I've got the master length set to 1024 steps, which is the maximum length until you go into infinite length. Shit, I just bumped the camera. Um, and I'll just show you that here. If you go, suddenly we're at infinite, or we're at 1024, and once you go past infinite, you're at two steps. So uh, I don't want it to be on infinite. Infinite's the sort of thing you would do if you wanted polyrhythmic stuff to just sort of play out in, a, in its own way. Really great for like ambient sort of weird shit, which uh, I should try and do a video on because I've been wanting to do that for a long time. Um, but anyway, uh, the other way to do it, like that's the maximum length of the uh, entire pattern which is what we need it to be. But over here we've also got um, the timing is 1 times 8. I, I'm not sure why they've used this terminology, but it basically just means that it's like 8 times slower, um, <clears throat> which means 64 steps turns into 64 bars, um, which actually, let me just check that, because like, this is definitely a 64 bar loop. I'm pretty sure it runs through the whole length of it. But even if it doesn't, the maximum might be um, 32, which is still extremely long. Um, but either way. Alright, so quick little aside. I was slightly wrong. Um, 1024 steps is the maximum number of steps you can have. But the maximum number of, st uh, of steps you can have in the sequence, which is a little bit weird, is... Um, is only 512, which is 32 bars. So you can only have 32 bars long um, over the 64 steps that you have on the sequence timeline. But the maximum length of the master sequence can be 1024. So I guess that would be something where you could have like a one-shot trig or something that lasts, I don't know, a really long time or something like that. I'm not 100% sure why it's like that. It's a little bit weird. But um, if you do some basic math, 20, 20, uh, 1024 divided by 16 is 64. So you're going to have 64 bars long. Oh my god, my cat. Oh my god. <laughs> Ziggy, shut up. Shush. Shush. Anyway, <clears throat> so you can have 64 bars long. Um, but the 64 steps times 8 or divided by 8 or whatever it is that they've got going on that little terminology there um, means that 32 bars will play it's very confusing but suffice to say it's fucking long and it's probably longer than you need um, <clears throat> that's kinda how you get there uh, is you you make it so that's at, and there are many different settings as well. There's times four, there's times two, 
and, and then you can go up past one into faster times as well and, and uh, one times eight is the the longest you can go um, but the thing is is that this doesn't really work if you've got lots of if you've got like a melodic content played over the trigs so each trig um, is its own note or something like that and it certainly doesn't work that well if you're using MIDI um, it just means that <clears throat> if you've got like 16th notes happening um, they're just going to be turned into way slower like it's it's going to not be 16th notes it's going to be like you know one bar <laughs> or something like that um, so what I've got going on the MIDI track is uh, which is just 64 steps long um, actually no I've got it at half time so it's eight bars rather than four bars and that just means um, that the way I've needed to do that in terms of the MIDI notes is I think I might be using the ARP yeah I'm using the ARP to give it a faster timing um, it's just like that's one thing I've done quite a few times before if I've wanted to have a longer section using MIDI um, is I've just had to use the arpeggiator and that just means you can get faster times over a long period but it means that you have to be sticking within the sort of patterns a MIDI uh, an arpeggiator can play so it's not always going to work for you <coughs> um, but <clears throat> it works in this case because it's just like doo 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 um, and, and it works for that um, so that's kind of it. I just wanted to quickly brush over that. Uh, it's probably a feature a lot of people know about, but I find that like when I came to, to use the Octatrack for this exact purpose to play really long segments, I was like, well, how long am I going to be able to go? I'm not sure exactly how long. I've definitely used it to play long sections before. I don't think I've ever used it to play sections this long before. So I was pleasantly surprised that I could get really long sequences playing like super, super long. Um, so yeah. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Subscribe, like, comment, tell me you think I'm doing a terrible job, as some of you do. <laughs> or tell me I'm doing a great job. Whatever. I'll see you later.